Thanks a lot for staying with us. Another language fight has erupted over SSE exams so the Staff Selection Commission exam. DMK MP Kani Mori has tweeted against the centre, demanding that the SSC CGL exam should be conducted in regional languages as well. Attacking the centre, the DMK leader said that the BJP is trying to impose singularity on every issue. And if this goes against India's democratic spirit. JDS leader HD Kumaraswamy has also hit out at the center on the same issue in Karnataka for the notification that states that only English and Hindi will be used for this exam. BJP was quick to hit back. National General Secretary CT Ravi responded saying the SSC has been holding exams since 1975 in English and Hindi only and the BJP was not in power for majority of that time. What is this SSC CGL exam? Let's just break down some of the details for you. It is of course the Staff Selection Commission which is an organization under the government of India to recruit staff for various posts in various ministries and departments of the government and their subordinate offices. Staff Selection Commission functions as a subordinate office of the DOPT which is the personal department and is mainly engaged in conducting competitive exams for recruitment. SSC CGL basically refers to combined graduate level examination. This exam has been held since 1975 primarily in English and Hindi. But in 2018 interestingly the central government of India had issued a clar clarification that for recruitment of multitasking non technical staff the candidates have the option of answering the descriptive paper in english or in any language included in the 8th schedule of the constitution of india which basically means regional languages so in this language war over the ssc exam has the dmk shot itself in the foot why do i say that because they've been reminded of the fact that they've been in power with the congress but they never asked for this so why are they doing this now narayan tirupati is from tamil nadu bjp he is the vice president manuraj is from the dmk suman si raman is political analyst and follows tamil politics very closely manuraj i'm coming to you first up the bjp is asking you a very fundamental question and the aia dmk also your opponent in tamil nadu asked the same question that you you were in power with the congress for 18 years why are you raising this issue only now why did then why did you not press your former allies to change this well shivani i don't know what uh, you've been told about the admk and the bjp but i can tell you with some level of certainty that this is not something that has started today or yesterday right and the uh, the language imposition is something that we have guarded against all the way from 1968 when the parliament passed the official languages resolution hmm. but more to your point this state staff selection commission exams Uh, specifically uh, uh, please go back and look uh, look at the lok sabha question mm -hmm. uh, given by uh, mr uh, honorable minister kiran rijiju on 2nd december 2014 mm. the question is number 1450 mm. when the staff selection examination was raised in lok sabha mm. by a member of parliament by the name of narendra keshav savaikar the kiran rijiju who is minister of state for home affairs says that all languages including the language in the age schedule are being used so this is the position in december 2014 as you very well know the D the dmk left the upa in march 2013 and the congress upa government lost a uh, government in 2014 so in december all regional languages were used so it is fallacious that the bjp passed some resolution in 2018 please do not fall for that i hope your viewers no, do not I, fall what for we've that. also the been told the matter is the fact of the matter is let me complete ma'am and then you can ask ask your supplementary question the fact of the matter is today there is a question being asked by the dmk and many other parties like you said mr mm. uh, kumar swami has raised this issue it's not a, it's not about tamil it's not about hindi it's not about bengali santali uh, or assamese this is about imposition of one language on over all others so we are asking this question why are Indians across India not allowed mm. to take exams in all languages of the age schedule. Fair so enough. Twenty-two languages. Fair enough. I'll so come if, to if that in just a bit. That, will, I'll come to that in just a bit. If, you mentioned the twenty fourteen position. Uh, the clarification of the government of India that I mentioned in my brief earlier was from February seven, twenty eighteen, where the government said that for the descriptive paper you can choose a regional language, but this is not uh, possible for all other levels of this exam or not extended to other levels of the exam. The reason I'm asking you this question is because the government is very clear that this has only happened in English and Hindi. It did not happen in all regional languages even earlier, even before 2014. No, no, that's that's completely untrue. That is what I'm trying to establish. 
in December 2014, Kiran Rijiju, as Minister of State for Home Affairs, acknowledges that the exam for SSC exam for, and I think in this case, it was the CRPF exam, has been conducted in all languages of the eight schedule. Yes, sir, so but let's talk about the CGL exam. No, well, SSC is for the entire country. It's the uni combined staff selection commission. Why, why, what is the difference whether it's CGL no, or no, CRPF? No, no, but or whether the CGL exam has been held all, in other languages you earlier cannot, you can, is, not you the, discriminate. is not the case. You cannot discriminate. It's fair you enough for you to say a if the CRPF exam has been held in regional languages, then so should be the case for CGL. But the CGL all exam exams. has been... Yes, fair enough. All but CGL exam has held. so far not been held in all regional languages. That is the information so, that we so have what, too. So if so you're what, making that so demand, what, what fair is, enough. But please don't no, no, say no, no. that exactly. CGL was held in regional languages earlier. All exams today, ma'am, you and I are sitting in 2022. Is it too much to ask for multilingual? No, I said I'll come to that in just a bit. But sir, the question that okay, one second. I'll come to the language issue in just a bit. But Narayan Tirupati, please respond to this. He is saying if other exams can happen under SSC in all regional languages, then why not the CGL? Yes. First of all, I would like to ask uh, you know the DMK and also uh, uh, Mr. Gowda to apologize to the uh, general public of India that when they were in power, they never bothered to raise this issue also. Even in 2002, when uh, DMK was in power with us, with the BJP, they never bothered to raise this issue. In the 10 years of Congress government also, they never bothered. They, they were uh, alliance partner. So whenever they are in power, they are not bothered about Tamil. Whenever they are in opposition, they are bothered about uh, Tamil. See, this is what is happening. As far as uh, this issue is concerned, as rightly pointed out by you, it is happening from 1975. And in 2014, what Mr. my friend Manu quotes is, it's a different exam. That, that, that is what they have very clearly said that for non-technical examinations, uh, the other languages are allowed. Mm. The Article 343 of the Constitution uh, is definitely, uh, this, this is against uh, the Article 343 of the Constitution. And also, we have to understand that the Official Languages Act of uh, 1963 it will definitely be a contrary to this issue. But anyway, see, as far as we are concerned, I think it is the BJP in the last eight years. It is the Bharati Janata Party's government only has done as allowed. So many examinations we have allowed the regional language. We have given concession. So we need to understand the, the so point, the fact of the matter. He's saying is why not hold the CGL also in all regional languages? Will the government look at that? That's what I'm saying. If there are chances, if it is possible, but. This DMK has got no right. They have they have got no right to talk about this because what were these people doing in the 15 years from 